Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. When I develop with Zuino and make video tutorials every now and then I need to use oscilloscope. Unfortunately the only oscilloscope I have is an old analog big size oscilloscope and it's not very practical to use it for video tutorials. So for this finally I have gathered enough spare funds to order a small oscilloscope kit that should be quite suitable for using in videos. It arrived today from Amazon and let's see what's inside the box. Go ahead and cut it. So it comes in a little box, obviously. And let's see what we have inside. Oh, obviously, battery connectors ok so external power supply in case you want to power the oscilloscope directly from the power instead of battery and here comes the oscilloscope actually I was under the impression that it would come as a kit but obviously this one is pre-built which will save me some effort. So let's take it out. Take a look at it. I can even go ahead and connect it. I have no idea what to expect, but we'll see soon. So there is an off switch here. Yeah, it was in the on position, my mistake. And okay, it seems like we already are picking some noise. Let's see what will happen when I connect. Well, this is not really a probe, but it's the closest thing that comes to a probe. And as you can see, as soon as I touch it, I introduce noise, which most likely is a combination between 60 Hz, I believe, was the US standard. Let me see, do we have frequency? Doesn't quite measure properly the frequency because it's noise, but most likely combination between the power frequency and uh, my uh, heartbeat. So yeah we can we can also adjust the level I believe. Yes I got the trigger level. And it captures the signal. So yeah, as I said, I'll have to uh, study it into more details and figure out all of its uh, functionalities. And I will make more videos with it. The oscilloscope also came 
with this instruction manual so let's take a look and see what's inside so there are some basic instructions on how to power it and uh, the different functions on this page here is information since this is intended to be a kit I believe it gives quite a detailed information about the circuitry inside the board and how to assemble or disassemble the oscilloscope It appears to be intended for reasonably easy repair. Yeah, it obviously is intended to give you some guidance when you are assembling it as a kit. And most likely when you receive it as kit, it also comes with some supplemental instructions. Uh, I will be surprised if these are all of the instructions. In any case, this particular one came completely assembled. One disappointment for me is that it appears that the instructions do not cover very well the different functionality. However, I have found some online tutorials and uh, documentation for the oscilloscope. And I will post all of this uh, in the comments under the video and I will put links and more information so you can easily find additional information I will also include the exact specific model I believe uh, this oscilloscope is so it will be much easier for you to find additional information if you need after a bit of research and experimenting I have learned a little bit more about the scope. It has test signal generator here where we can hook the probe and have test square wave. We can also switch between AC, DC and ground and we can put it on hold to keep the signal there is even a way by reprogramming the firmware there is such option and opening inside we can even hook it to a PC and upload the recorded form to PC it also has internal memory I'm not gonna play with all the more advanced options as I will need to study them more but here I can select the position effectively the offset of the signal if I wish I can select the division this is one volt division I like it this way for now this is the horizontal axis effectively the time units so 50 microseconds 500 microseconds 1 millisecond This is the trigger sensitivity and the trigger level. We can click here and move faster or slower so we're switching between fast and slow changing of valves so there are more functions but I will keep it simple this is all for now I hope you have enjoyed the quick unboxing and first test video 
If you like the video, please remember to click the like button. And if you enjoy the channel or my visual work, you can also subscribe to help me promote it. That's it for today. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.